JJJ, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Listen, we're gonna talk about the top five, right? Top five podcasts for web developers, man. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you like this video, man. All right, we're gonna start like this, man. Listen, we got design versus dev, right? This podcast is really cool because you get to see the point of view of a designer and the point of view of a developer. And like it's two pretty cool guys. Like, I think they they work with um Ruby on Rogues and this company called the Agile League. I think, I think I remember it's the Agile, the Agile League, something like that, um, in Atlanta, right? And they all work remote, so that was pretty cool. And like listening to their podcast and seeing how how they actually work with each other, you know, remotely, always you know fascinated me because I'm like, damn, I kind of I want to work remotely. At one point, I'm going to work remote. You know what I mean? But yeah, so design versus dev, you could check it out on on iTunes if you guys want to check it out through there or go to their website. Also, to there's this other group, um, mm. you know, another podcast called uh, Mostly Node. It's usually one guy and his, I guess it's like his best friend, who they they basically talk about Node.js, and I don't even know if they're like really professionals. Like I think they're like brand new developers they probably have like a year or two or something like that um but they seem pretty knowledgeable and it's cool because then you see you hear stories about them like you know when they were getting uh the first job interviews and and just pretty much talking about you know how it was to go to a job interview how it was to learn node you know some of them like they have sometimes you know people that come in for the for interviews and I think it's pretty cool. I, I like them because of, of their personality and, and the way how they talk. Like they seem pretty cool. They, they seem like you know people who I could actually be friends with. You know what I mean? And then you got Ruby Rogues, man. Ruby Rogues is like this guy's is legendary. Like they've been around for a long, long time. And pretty much it's it's about Ruby, right? So you got Ruby on Rails, uh Sinatra, a whole bunch of different stuff that they talk about you know Ruby gems, but at the same time, even if you're not a Ruby developer, they're really good at explaining what's going on in, in in the industry, you know, in the community, either open source or you know, in startups. So pretty much is a good, it's a very good uh podcast, you know. I like them, you know, because they they constantly have new topics and and new people that you know that come in and you know do interviews talk about how it is to feel like to be a, a brand new developer they talk about how to get a job they talk about um a whole bunch of topics that as a web developer or, or a brand new junior developer like is very informative and you know i will say hey listen to this guys you know then you have javascript java right this guys is all about javascript you know, so you will hear whatever new framework is out there, whatever's making a buzz in the industry. Uh, Mocha, you got Vue.js, you got React, Angular, you got Ember. Everything that you could think of, they actually already, you know, interview the people who created it or people who are actually in the team. Like, you know, you got Visual Studio, you got Immutable JS, uh, you got. Um, freaking Microsoft guy <laughs> you got Jamstack you got Cold Wars Cold Wars .com. you got JavaScript Elm I don't know if you guys have heard of that that's the like the new JavaScript basically um, it's like a new language that compiles to HTML CSS and JavaScript uh, what else functional programming Cypress JS for like testing so they have a lot of good interviews and so brand new developer I think you guys should, you know, definitely listen to this, guys. Now, front end happy hour. I love this, this podcast because these are like really, really, really good professionals. Like everybody that is on this podcast, they either work for Netflix, they either work for LinkedIn, they either work for Microsoft, they either work for uh, damn, what was the other place? I forgot. But it's like seven or eight different developers that work in different uh, companies guys who are engineers this is not like you know you're dealing with like Johnny from the block and he decided to make a podcast like this are like real 
you know, Netflix managers, like guys who are like pretty legit, man. Like you got to listen to happy hour, man. Like straight up. Like there's no way as a developer that you're not listening to these guys because they go over everything. They go over, you see, talk about Ember. They talk about, you know, mixed languages, uh, wasting on workflows. Like they talk about mm -hmm. a, whole, a whole bunch of stuff that, you know, in the industry is like standard or like whatever's happening in the industry that you might hear it or you might see it on, online on a blog or something like they actually talk about it and it's cool because they're actually in the industry it's like well we all in the industry but not at that level you know what i mean like they really up there like you know working for netflix evernote uh was it alasian uh, linkedin a whole bunch of different companies like they're legit man like if you guys want to get a little taste of what it's like to work for one of those big companies man you gotta sign up man you gotta subscribe to these guys i usually use something called stitcher right so you could either use it on your phone it's on ios android or you could listen to it and like let's say on on the computer so you could actually come in and go like, <coughs> sorry about that. Click on listen, and then from there you got your 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 stations that you actually put in. And you see, I got the big web show, JavaScript Java, mostly Node, Ruby Rogues, Running Happy Hour, Design versus Dev. Like those are the people that I listen to. And why is good to listen to like you know podcasts? Why? Well, if you're a developer, like you wanna. Keep yourself in in a bubble, in the you know, in a developer's bubble, until you you match like you've mastered everything. Like once you feel like, hey, I'm I'm the man and I don't need anything. If you ever do feel like that, then fine. Then you could do your own thing. But if you want to be part of the community, like trust me, listening to podcasts is like that's like a standard thing. Cause when you're driving around or you're listening. Uh, you're you know in the gym working out or you're like coding you want to listen to a podcast trust me guys like I'm only giving you the best resources out here because I already been through everything that you guys have been through and you know I only give you the best that's what I do man it's your boy Joe back at it again bow yeah man <laughs> listen we just having fun out here man whoever got here to the end listen guys make sure you check out uh, the links below uh, support the kid if you decide to buy a course on Udemy remember that we keep that to basically help out other developers who are uh, less uh, fortunate as you know than us and pretty much and I'll take a little cut I'm not gonna lie I take a little cut you know but it's mostly to help out people here on YouTube that you know they can't go in and pay for a new course they can't go take a boot camp they can't go to a, a great school so at least I'll try to help out the community by giving back most of these youtubers nobody gives anything back they be like oh yeah we're giving away the iPad like an iPad is gonna change your life I rather give you like five courses and be like hey here hold this courses and you know change your life by becoming a great developer you know what I mean Anyways, man, it's your boy Joe back at it again. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you like this video, man. Bow.